Solo has a friend. And to try and... So I saw the one crow kind of like feeding Solo the other day. Popped up on a rooftop and um, basically fed him a peanut or her. Um, I put out a special treat for them this morning. Some peanut butter crackers that were crushed up in my kid's lunch bag. And I knew <laughs> they would like it. He's got the cracker right in his mouth for her. Look at that. And he sat there for a little while before he came down. And we'll see him or her try and fit as many of these crackers. He's got two. You see, trying to fit more than try and get three in its mouth. That's Solo's friend. Solo won't come down, but this one will. I'm gonna go up on the roof over there and eat it. Now we'll see if Solo goes over and eats with that crow. Because Solo is very scared to come down, which was what makes me think that Solo is young, like a young crow. So I've seen the other one feeding it. And we had we had a baby with a flock of seven coming around for a little while where they were feeding a baby. They sound like kazoos. You can see them eating like a baby. It's pretty cool. They feed them. Oh, oh, this is a big thing here. Solo is coming down on its own. Oh, here come the jays. Where did he go up there? Now, if the jays think that there's something, they'll show up too. Where did he go? I saw it land. I guess not. Anyway, so they each have their own crackers up there and they're eating now. But the minute that I put something new out, the birds all shut up. Usually I don't put things out twice. It's usually whatever goes out in the morning goes out because I don't want to have to feed everybody all day because, you know, I have a life and I have a job and all of that. But yeah. Yeah, Solo has a friend. And it's cool, and I don't know if the friend is a sibling or a mother or father or what, but occasionally um, I see them, one feeding the other. Or maybe they're mates and they're just sharing food. I don't really know. It's fun to watch, though. Solo has a friend. It's exciting.